Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, this is Papa Meerkat, and I'm hitting the wrong buttons apparently. I don't know how that happened. Hit shift and W to do, to do a roll forward and all of a sudden I go into his team's overlay. But uh, welcome back to Portal Knights. <clears throat> I was uh, a little bit busy off camera. I spent several hours building the arena and trying to flatten an entire little island out and add a uh, whole section to it. Well, it did take a little while. And then I had to go collect a bunch of dirt blocks. I wasted, uh, not really wasted, I used up eight titanium bars. I made eight titanium bars to make one big chest. And this is it right here. It has all this space. And this is just my overflow chest. I got just so much junk. All these other chests are full. I just need to go sell all this stuff, like all these extra clothes and things. But this is just my overload, overflow chest, just to empty my inventory out. It's got so much just random stuff. This is after going to all the other chests. I went through every chest and tried to quick stack everything in, and yeah, it barely got rid of anything. I'm wondering, should I use the cat? I can't remember what I called him. Jonesy. Yeah, from Aliens. Let's see, what animal do we have? We always go back to the princess. I haven't tried snake. Let's go grab snake. And we'll put cat inside here. I need to build an extra building just for the animals somewhere. Just build an, uh, a, like an animal pen. And put all my animals in it. Sounds a little bit better than putting them... Leaving them in my house. <clears throat> Let's see if we can use the uh, snake for a while. Let's put Jonesy in the house. There you go, Jonesy. All right. Well, I'm gonna go to the island. We're gonna try to fight that boss, the Watcher. And uh, I, I it had me worried yesterday when I was uh, making that. The arena? Yes, I did it yesterday. It was kind of last moment type of thing. It's been a busy week, but I did still get it done. I leveled up a little bit too as well. And my, uh, the level up is only one time. And I ran out of time. We had to go get some errands done and go get food. We, had a, we ate at a new Mexican restaurant that uh, opened up nearby. It wasn't that bad. Kind of expensive, but it wasn't that bad. Man, these guys die very quickly. Why am I even fighting these dudes? You know, I haven't really done anything with this e Easter egg stuff. I want. I'm. I'm curious about that golden egg. I'm wondering, is it just a um, like a furniture or an edible or consumable? Or does it do something else that's more special? Like you open it and you get like an awesome something random out of it? No, I'm not talking about loot boxes. <laughs> Everybody's favorite. Mi microtransactions. The best. Yeah. And it's official. There was a... Um, the uh, thing is, is about that Borderlands 3... Yeah, Epic Store exclusive for six months. Everybody already knew it was coming. There was too many telltale signs saying, yes, it's going to be that way. Leading up to April 3rd, so. Yeah, I was, uh, I'm not too happy about it. Yeah, so there's only three types of eggs. I don't know how to make a golden egg, though. That's the thing. I really don't know how to make a golden egg. Because there's no recipe for it, and when all this whole Easter egg hunt thing started, I looked in all crafting benches, so I have no idea how to make an egg. Alright guys, well, we're going to go to, um, I think it's Sea of Stocks, where, uh, the Watcher is. While I was building the, um, arena, he killed me once, because, uh, he, when I was starting to clear out the area that I needed to build... And adding on to the island, he aggroed onto me and just followed, and I let him out. 
Let's see. No, you don't, bro. Alright. I'm going to show you guys. I let him out. And he kind of floated to the bottom of the world. It was weird. And I thought he was going to stay down there forever and I wouldn't be able to get him out. Alright, so what happened was that I led him to that island right there and he killed me over there by the portal. And he spawns over there and I led him all the way over here because he floats so he can just float over. And then when I died, I came back He was like, and he run himself off onto that platform where my bridge is. And he just floated down. And he was just at the bottom of the world. He didn't die or anything. He just floated down there like, you know, just for some reason. I hope he can kill them. And I got to take out his little minions, the bats, or the dark bats. They're the ones that causes uh, him to get injured to begin with. If you kill both of his bats, then he can take damage. And what I noticed... Uh, when I was fighting him, I was trying to shoot him to lead him back up to see if he'll come out of the hole. Because I didn't know if I turned off the game that he was just going to stay down in the hole. But here, when I turned it off and came back, he respawned up there. But here's my platform. And it actually took me almost three hours to build this. If you notice, this island right there had a little mountain on this side, and a little hill. And a whole bunch of trees all over it and stuff and I flattened it all out and then I added a two block ring around it so when you are walking backwards dodging his hits I won't just automatically walk off so you know that if it's a one block height like this I will automatically step up and if it's a two block height like well if I can do it correctly as a two block height you won't step up automatically even if you're going backwards so that that's a basically a protection to tell me that I am, my back is against the wall, and I'm not going to automatically walk off and kill myself. All right, and he's right there at the entrance. So basically, as soon as I get over there, he's going to be on top of me. That's not good. I'd like to be able to get to the island without attracting his attention first, but it doesn't seem like that's what's going to happen. Hmm. Try to lead him off of that the big the the entrance. There's the entrance right there. And he's literally hovering right over the entrance. And look at all these enemies that spawn out there. And these guys give a good amount of EXP. Not have these stairs. Don't 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 track to me. Let me kill off all your your buddies first. Look how many enemies are spawning out here. If I was trying to fight him. With all these enemies, it would be really a pain in the butt. So the best thing to do, take out the enemies. And then fight him. If we die, I'm going to try to build that um, dark protection armor. That we had in there that cost titanium. The thing is, that armor is weak compared to what I'm wearing right now. And these guys do... They have a lot of armor and a lot of health. Get rid of them all. They continuously spawn too. But okay, if I can lower the numbers, then we're gonna be safe. And I would like to hear from you guys in the comments. Nobody's talking to me in the comments about anything. Let me know what you'd like to see me play in this type of genre. I'm thinking about Minecraft or going back to card life. But I'm running out of... This game's running out. I mean, I'm almost at the end of it. Well, level 27. I gotta take out his bats. While he's constantly shooting at me, that's the problem. Oh, he's not taking damage. Oh, there it is. Wow. Um, impossible. Much. 
Yeah, that 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 guy's kind of impossible. He does way too much damage and rapidly. I don't know how you're supposed to fight him. I was dodging and I was still getting hit. Every time I dodge sideways, his shots are too fast and you still get hit by him. So I might have to cheese this fight to win. Because while I was, uh, when I was trying to lead him out of the hole, I shot at him when he was in the hole. And he was taking damage from it. Because he was too far away, he didn't have a chance to spawn his lackeys or little bats. Because he didn't, he couldn't attack back. He just floated there. And he shot like one shot at a time here and there. So if I can like lead him out of there. I don't think that light, uh, that uh, dark protection armor is going to help. He's still going to do a bunch of health quickly. So it's probably just best try to cheese him. If I can. Alright. This fight is kind of lame. Just to be honest with you, it is lame. Well, I want you to follow me. Follow me out here. Let's see if he'll do that float down to the bottom of the world thing again. He's cheap. You just, if you guys just, you just saw that. He is really cheap. I don't know how you're supposed to fight this thing normally. And they, and they put him on a, such a tiny little platform. Look at that. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. Kill him. He hurts you too much. And he lost track of me, see? Look at that. What is up with that damage? And I can't use my magic? Oh, okay. I see what happened. He sucks out your your magic. Yep, this is how I'm going to fight him right here. Right there. What the? Okay. Seriously. And they put all those enemies around? Yeah, they, I'm not fighting him legit. I'm not. He is extremely cheap. And if any indication how bad this fight is, and you gotta fight his, uh, the uh, final boss, if he acts the same way, this game is unfinishable for me, and I'll be moving on. I'm not that great at games, so doing these kind of things is not gonna be fun. To be honest with you, I do not find this kind of gameplay fun. And you gotta fight the millions of enemies on the platform with him, so yeah, yeah, it's... They could have done better with this. At least have him inside one of these uh, structures and not on a tiny little island where he cannot dodge his attacks, yeah. This right here is a fail for Portal Knights in my opinion. There's a challenge and then there's just way too difficult. Yep, thanks for killing me Slime. Almost, I was actually, I had him him. Every attack is way too fast. Are you going to actually stop spawning bats? There you go. Ballista time. Whoa, and those shots follow you too, yay. Everything is 100% against you in this fight. Like a 100% chance of will fail. So I'm gonna try cheesing this guy. This is a very impossible fight. And uh, their health refills, which is extremely cheap. Yeah, this is not, not worth it. 
I'm very disappointed. I really enjoyed this game up until this point, but this boss is right here. And it's not even the final boss. It is like just some side thing. And it is awful. Completely and utterly awful. How are you supposed to kill this thing? I even built an arena and it's not it's not enough. And why is your mana not recharge? Automatically. Whatever. Some things about this game that's disappointing right now. Very disappointing. And it says that you pretty much have to take this guy out before you can take on the final boss. And if it's this is what's blocking you fighting the final boss, this guy right here is going to be it's just. Or the final boss is probably going to be awful. So yeah, I'm not too pleased with this. See, I don't mind a, a challenge, but I want a a fair challenge, not an overly powerful enemy that is to kill you, and you have no way to actually take him out. And that armor, I doubt it's going to do anything. In my opinion. I don't even know what loot he drops. If any at all. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I'm not I'm not frustrated or angry or anything. I'm just i I'm just disappointed. His attack does little pink or purple shots that he shoots they all follow you with very high uh, accuracy if I could find a way to cheesing him then I'm gonna cheese him which I kind of had a way yesterday and he fell in this hole down here and he did it was like yeah he's falling down now Come on, bats. Nope, he didn't. His damage is too much. Yeah, and there is a set of armor that has uh, dark protection on the armor, but it's such a, the, the armor itself has low armor compared to what I have. That means the uh, that's going to be worse than what I'm wearing because if the armor's low plus the um, yeah hide back there. I can't hit him with this at all. Yep, cheap. And he shoots through the wall. Wow, game. Even more cheap. On top of cheap, and inside of more cheap, is this is awful. You can't kill him. I can't fight him. I had him yesterday. I should have took him out off camera, cause he was like way down there, and he didn't figure. He couldn't figure out how to get back out, and he just kept shooting like one little shot at me here and there. And stupid sticky keys. I hate you. That stuff needs to be eliminated and deleted for the rest of the rest of mankind. Nobody uses it. Yep, I'm just I'm disappointed. I built I spent hours building that arena over there too. Hours. I have no idea what to do. I can't kill him. He's way too difficult. I've had I've had bosses in Dark Souls and Bloodborne easier than that thing, only because of the amount of damage that he does. Because the roll in this game doesn't give you any eye frames or invincibility frames. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm kind of stuck. I 
I hate cheap boss fights. This is one of the reasons why I suck at games is because I don't finish them. For reasons just like this. There's a difference between fair and cheap. A big difference. And his health just refills as soon as you walk away from him, so there's no point to doing this. The uh, developers of this game needed to fix this. It's awful. There's a, it's just, it's just awful. And why do they put shift as a roll instead of just keeping on one button? And you're forced to have to deal with that sticky key junk. Why do sticky keys even exist in the first place? I'm still getting hit. Thanks. Everything about this boss fight is cheap. And that's all I'm going to say about this home. They can shoot through walls. He could literally shoot through walls. What is the point? There's nothing stops him. This is stupid. Look. He can shoot through walls. There is absolutely no point to this. Absolutely no point. They made one of the worst bosses I've ever fought. And he's immune to you. Great. And his health is refilled now. Wow. Something that is not cheap. Uh, get out of there. See, you can't win no matter what angle you have them. And these ballista shots are extremely bad. They just fall immediately. I don't know what is the point of having them. Oh, a weapon that does really good damage against the old dark enemies? Oh yeah, but you can't hit anything with it because it just falls straight to the floor. Look at this. Why does the shots go through the ground? Why? Yep. He just constantly, constantly get hit. He can't stop. I'll just keep doing this over and over again, I guess. Ah, he's immune again. They basically to come out so I can take him out. And my, I'm limited to my shots. As you see, my the ballista only shoots basically 10 feet in front of me. And that's all I get. This right here sucks. And uh, while you are locked on, you cannot roll or jump. Come on, hurry up. I just want him dead, I want him dead, I want him dead. Come on, just kill him, please. No! I hate this fight. I really, really hate this fight. Where's those dang bats, man? In the wall? Yay. Now his health is going to refill because they're stuck in the wall. And then it'll be just all this for nothing. Come on, bats. Get out of the hole. And they're stuck up there like a bunch of dorks. Okay, I'm going to be stuck in the wall. And you auto-target when you try to break blocks. Great! Alright, my targeting can go through walls. But my... Gosh, I'm so annoyed. I'm like I'm beyond annoyed right now. I can't you just don't know. Go away. I hate you. I want you gone. Well. I had a cheese that I got I'm just frustrated. That was awful. I'll say the game is pretty fun up to that point. I don't know about the final boss fight, but 
Yeah. That's all I gotta say, guys. Uh, that's all I gotta say. I I spent three almost three hours doing this right here. This took a long time. Well, there is one silver lining about it, guys. There is one silver lining. I get all these enemies spawning on here all the time. They infinitely spawn on this big platform. That means I get on these skeletons, I get almost 2,000 EXP each and up to 3,000 EXP, a little over 3,000 every time these skeletons respawn. So, that is my silver lining. I can use this uh, arena as my spawn point, or not really spawn point, what am I saying? The um, EXP farm. So, there's my silver lining of spending three hours doing this. Yep. There you go. Now I can turn in this quest and see what I got. I got myself a wet down ye with blood ro red roses. That's kind of hard to say. Down ye blood roses or blood red roses. Finishing blow, leech, leech chance. Down ye blood red roses as a sea shanty that mourns the pirates lost at the Mayan Delta. And I got an all watcher trophy. This guy sucked. Does he hang from the ceiling? Yeah, he hangs from the ceiling. See these chains? Well, that almost took 30 minutes of displeasure and frustration and disappointment. Yay. Fun times, game. Fun times. Let's go back to the po uh, platform. Talk to this dude. Yeah, or not talk to him. Well done. Well done indeed. The Hollow King will not see you coming now, yet he will expect you soon. Prepare yourself. Your destiny is nearly at hand. And how cheap is he? 13,000 HP, 131 gold, and a book. Looks like a spell. Eye in the sky. Yeah, uh, the thing I want to do is I'm going to try to level up as, uh, if I can to max level that's the best thing to do right now because if the uh, the the watcher the all watcher whatever that thing was called I call it mr. cheap if he was as bad as he is and he was how bad is the final boss but he's been killed I succeeded somehow so basically what I had to do is, every time it, I failed, I failed at fighting him every time until he got stuck in that cave. The, uh, the bad part of him being stuck in that cave was that his bats got stuck in that cave too and you have to kill the bats to do the damage to him. That was the problem, but I managed to do so, you guys just saw, so if you guys are going to fight that awful boss, I am sorry in advance that you have to fight that awful boss. And anybody in the past that has fought that boss, up until when I started doing my let's play, I am sorry as well. And he probably got frustrated and left the game. And never went back. That boss is... Ugh, that is the worst. And I played Dark Souls and Bloodborne and stuff, which I'm not even that good at those games. I made it pretty far. Bloodborne almost at the end. I can't remember what boss all is, that weird moon baby that I got stuck on. I don't even know what that thing is called. That ugly thing that comes out of the moon. I didn't really get stuck on it, I just kind of stopped playing it. I died twice on him, and I almost had him dead the, the first time, and I just kind of walked away. Awesome game, though. Love the aesthetics and stuff, the story. I just stopped playing. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm still getting over that cold. I've had that thing forever. Yeah, I'm not... The cold part's gone. I just got all the stuff that was left. Nose constantly keeps running, even though you're done with the cold. Coughing here and there. It's hard to talk because the... Where I am... Where the part of you talk... Where the, where the... Where you talk from, besides your mouth, is your nose. You have to use your nose and it gets blocked up and it makes it sound weird. It's hard to talk. If that makes any sense. 
Don't roll through him. See, that was uh, 2,000 EXP. I think sometimes they got, uh, the guys will give me an extra chunk of EXP. And it gives me almost 3,000. What? Oh man. Multi bolt. Multi bolt. It sounds like I'm one of those LARPers. Yeah. <laughs> Does that uh, role playing dudes? Thunderbolt. Yep. So I spent three hours to make an arena yesterday. Not for the Watcher, but for EXP Farm. Unintentionally. Literally, that is my only silver lining about that boss. <laughs> I'm still frustrated. That that boss is nasty. Alright guys, well, let's see. What am I going to do now? Kind of want to move forward a little bit. See what else we can find. Haven't been here yet. I don't even know where the portal is. It's actually where I'm at now. I'm guessing it's in that dome. Yeah, let's work for that then. Let's head towards the dome. Sorry for the nasally talk, my where you breathe through your nose that connects to your throat. Which sounds kind of disgusting, but it's true. Where that is is getting blocked up by stuff I can't seem to get rid of. Facts. Life facts. Not life hacks. Life facts. <laughs> it's hard to say facts because it's blocked up. It's actually kind of hard to say anything right now. Everything feels like it's nasally and it's hard to breathe. Yay. Alright, so I think the uh, portal's in there. Guys, just go away. If I can make it to that world put with the key in it, probably have to find another watcher. I hope not. And I understand when you get towards the end of the game, people want challenge. I'm okay with challenge. That wasn't challenge. That was just cheap. And if he rolled away from his lasers, it still didn't didn't do nothing. I did that when I was actually fighting him legitly. On the, the platform, oh, I still failed. Three hours, guys. <laughs> Three hours. Snake, what are you doing? Well, at least you know what's coming, dudes. If you enjoy this game, I, I I'm not saying the game is bad. I'm not going to just tell you guys the game is bad. It's a lot of fun. The experience I'm having with it. The part I do not like is the cheap boss. <laughs> Well, it didn't hurt as much as I thought it was going to. That was one heck of a fall. But yep, I was right. The portal's in here. This this portal right here leads to the the island that has the key for the final boss. And yeah, and let me know, guys, in the uh, uh, comments below. Please let me know what would you like to be uh, would like to see me play on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's got to be a game similar to this. Open world survival, uh, building, crafting, mining, you know, basically like Minecraft, something like that. Alright, do I have enough of the green portal shards? Yes. Oh yeah, do you. Damn. I kind of want to try out this pistol. It's 144, 155, so it's lower level. So, they're expecting you... To fight the All Watcher before titanium with gold. Ooh. A recipe for All Watcher amulet inv yeah, invocation. I see. This allows you to just summon him back so you can kill him again. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I can tell you right now that boss fight is not worth it. But we did it, guys. We did do it. A little perseverance and. Not giving up, I guess. 
All right, now we got that open. Let's head over here. Let's back on the moon levels. Don't know what's here yet. Star spires. Ooh, this sounds cool. Star spires. Welcome to Star Spires. Whisper a bottle. Yeah, I was wanting to make this, but it only lasts like 30 seconds. 30 seconds is not long. A torch lasts longer than that. Man, I'm tired of that stuff at the back of my head. It's hard to talk. I, mean, I was hoping for something new looking. It's a, this place looks the same as everywhere else. Which is cool. I'm not saying it doesn't look cool. I like the purple mushrooms and stuff. But I was hoping for a different scenery. Called a, a, an island called Star Spires. You're like, ooh, this that looks sounds awesome. Nice. One shot. Now here's gotta be a quest that allows me to get the key. Yeah, every time you shoot him, he'll drop a, uh, a light ball or whatever that is. And that's... It blows up, pretty much. What is this? What is this? Um, what is this? I can't break this. Is it because of my stake? No. What name should I give Snakey? Snakey. <laughs> so original guys so original there's something underneath here um, it goes down pretty far but I don't think there's anything here what is this man alright I gotta find a NPC I don't want to though, the boss fight's probably going to be awful. Just like the Watcher. Yeah, I'm still going to be on about that Watcher. That thing was bad. But we did it. I'm still, I'm, I'm relieved that we, fi we, we finished him off, but I don't know if it was worth it. I did get a trophy. I guess that's cool. And it hangs from the ceiling. Kind of like a chandelier. Where is the NPC? Is he over here in the mine? Or is he over there? He's probably over there. Look at that thing. That building looks, uh... Terrifying. Thanks, dude. Wow, four hearts. Man. Now, this place right here looks terrifying. And this is where the NPC, or whatever, you gotta... How to get the key or not oh, it's just like a uh, a wizard's abode or a scientist's abode I'll stick with scientists or both an alchemical wizard there you go perfect it's an alchemical wizard's abode really I'm still getting minor healing potions now Really? Disappoint. What the? What was that? Oh, what is that? Do I break this? I don't want to use up. Oh. Ah, oh, got it. Meteorite. Oh, these are new. Is this a crafting material? Oh, that's sketchy. Oh, that's really sketchy. Don't pop, uh, you, uh, if it would have popped up on that ledge after falling down here, I'll be like so mad. I need to make some more, uh, but I'm, I'm not, I, this episode's almost done, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm enough materials to make the, that uh, strong healing potion. I need plenty of those, and I'm, I just used one up by accident. I want to make sure I have a whole bunch of those before we move on is this the next crafting material or what is this 
quest item. Okay. Well, if it's a quest item, I'm guessing this is how you get the key. Most likely. Let me go back to Alchemical Wizard's Tower and find the dude. If, I, if that's, I'm thinking that's where he's at. The guy that's supposed to give you the quest to get the key. Oh, yeah, there's somebody standing up there, too. Right there. So how many of these uh, meteors do you need? Probably like a hundred of them. If that's the case, I'm farming that stuff off camera. A lot of be like a next crafting material that allows you to build this awesome weapon armor. Hey, that uh, dark crystal? The movie Dark Crystal? <laughs> that's like the shard. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. But there was a shard that they had to stick into the big crystal to get the Skeksky, Skeksky, whatever those guys are, the bird people, <laughs> or that name is hard to say, and the uh, other dudes back together again. You're here for the crystal, correct? Well, I have some news. Well, you're ready to hear it. Sure. Though it once held incredible, pow pow incredible power, this crystal is as dead as a doorknob. Wow. However, I have reason to believe it, could, it caused the meteor shower here. Probably. Therefore, it may be possible to use the meteorites to re-energize it. I've set up research stations to form a circuit. If you place meteorites at each one, the crystal might just might regain its power. Ah, that tower I didn't know what it was? Those are the relays. And there's how many of them? Three? Alright, so three relays. And I got how many of these? It probably takes one of these per. Alright. Nice. Here we go. We are running out of time in this video. I want to at least do one relay to see how it's done. I'm guessing I need to put these in my um, inventory somewhere. There we go. Watch it be like 10 per or something. If, it, if that's the case, then I'll be farming these things off camera. And then I'm going to try to level up. I need to level up, guys. Pretty badly. If you heard that, I just scratched my beard. I got a beard growing. I know I didn't get 100 subscribers in my in one video. I said if I can get 100 subscribers, I'll grow an epic beard. But I am growing one now. Alright, so it looks like it has to be a block. Can I put. Oh, I can. Okay, there we go. It's just one each. Well, let's finish this quest then, and then we're going to end the episode. And I'm going to try to. Uh, we're going to maybe at some point fight the final boss and then I want to go back and do the quests that we missed. Maybe not all of them, just a good portion of them. Might do some on off camera too, so I can get some extra boost to EXP. Or I can just make a video of it, that sounds, sounds alright. Is that all it does? It sits there and buzz. Alright. Alright, the last tower right here. That's why I couldn't destroy the middle. If I would have destroyed that and I would have basically halted the progress of the game. Yay. And I got a whole bunch more meteors on me. They had they should have given it another use. The meteors. Because you don't, can't really do anything with them now. I don't think there's any recipes for them. It's kind of lame. Alright, let's turn this puppy in. And we're going to probably end the episode after that point. She'll probably give me a key. Or send me doing something else. If that's the case. And tomorrow will be the next episode. We'll be getting the key. I'm kind of not looking forward to the final boss. Because the watcher was bad. That was awful. And if the if 
the watcher was any any indication of how difficult the final boss is going to be. I'm thinking he's going to be terrible as well. So, everything's in place. May the ancients watch over us. Then, here we go. I don't know why I had, had those infamous, like a space in between. When I was like, what is that? Goggles, huh? 18,000 EXP. Yeah. Blast, the meteors are in place. The circuit is unbroken. What have I overlooked? Hmm. The crystals or crystal was once and infused with the same energy as the portals. I wonder, would you give the reaction sequence a try? Yes, yes. I think that may be all the difference. Go on then. What do I do? Put a portal in there? Okay, activate the machine to re-energize re the strange totem piece. Collect the repaired strange totem piece. Vanity item. I got myself some goggles. Do I use, like, portal shards? I kind of don't understand what I'm doing here. be honest with you okay activate the machine to re-energize the strange totem piece what totem piece she didn't give me a totem piece hmm collect this repaired strange totem piece I don't even see like a marker or anything to nice. Strange totem piece. Is there do I have to collect that crystal that was up there? Kinda confused about this mission. Alright guys, well I'm out of time. And then what I'm going to do is um I'm gonna try to look this up because I don't understand what to do, to be honest with you. I didn't get no totem piece and do I collect up the the dark crystal up there or whatnot? I don't know. Alright guys, well, uh, I'm gonna look it up in the next episode. We're gonna try to get that key and then probably go back and uh, maybe try out the final boss and see if we can even fight him. Probably I won't be able to. It's gonna, probably gonna be really cheap or bad. And if that's the case, we're going to go back and um, see if we can do some quests and whatnot. But off camera, I'm going to try to max up my level, which I am... What am I even doing? Yeah. Alright, yep. I got a couple levels left and then we'll be maxed out. I think the max level is 30, so... I'm going to try to reach the max level. So I'm as powerful as I possibly can be for the fight. I don't know what this means by the totem. I don't see a totem anywhere. Not unless it's something to do with the the thing at the top. Let's head up here and we're going to end the episode there. Alright guys, well, if you'd like to become part of the Meerkat Nation, hit that subscribe button and join today. I'd like to see 100 subscribers. Let's, can we reach that goal, guys? Can we reach it? And I'll continue growing this epic beard for you guys. I'll try to get a face cam. Alright, and uh, if you like my commentary, you find it helpful, funny, or yeah, entertaining, with especially all that frustration with the watcher, hit that like button to show you support, and if you didn't, still hit that like button because I'm learning, guys, give me a chance here. All right, and next to that subscribe button, you'll see a bell icon, you hit that bell icon, then you become part of the Meerkat Nation notification squad, and when you hit that squad, then you'll get notifications for everything I upload immediately if, if YouTube plays nice. Therefore, you do not miss any of these awesome adventures and frustrations. Alright guys, well, I'll see each and every one of you later, and y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.